to a person, a company's leadership will pay lip service to the importance of collaboration. Who wouldn't, right? But how do you as an employee know if your company's leadership takes collaboration seriously? Here's one question to ask. Does your leadership offer you and other employees proper training when the company adopts a new internal collaboration hub? Even if it does, then ask yourself this question. Is senior leadership truly committed to using the new hub? How do you tell? An example will explain exactly what I mean. To a person, executives at Company X decry its current state of internal communication and collaboration. Why can't we collaborate and communicate better? Many leaders have asked themselves this question. In organizations like this, teams often work at cross purposes. The end results can be very harmful. We're talking about product delays, general confusion, and all sorts of bad outcomes. Does this situation sound familiar? The big wigs at Company X correctly believe that a new collaboration hub can help alleviate these concerns. Let's say, for example, that's an existing Microsoft shop. The leaders encourage all employees to use Microsoft Teams. However, and paradoxically, leaders themselves flout using it. And instead, the head honchos at Company X hypocritically continue to discuss key issues and make decisions using, wait for it, Microsoft Outlook, the email client. Underlings often get sucked into interminable email threads because the chief marketing officer doesn't do Microsoft Teams. And no one underneath that person wants to miss out on senior level communications. We're talking FOMO at its best. And eventually, employees cease using Microsoft Teams.